Hi everybody out there in Twitch TV land. Uh, today's topic uh, for Burger Time 2019. It has been way too long since I last posted one of these things up on YouTube, but uh, it's high time to start getting back into this thing. It helps me focus on what I'm up to and show the world, you know, what, uh, what horrible mayhem I'm getting into. Um, today's um, effort in um, absolute uselessness is um, Wolfenstein 3D for the Mac Map Editor. Context. When Wolfenstein 3D for the Mac was being developed, it was based on the original source code put together that uh, was done for the Super Nintendo. Um, the, this new version uses BSP trees and its technology was a lot, it's, it's kind of like a hybrid between what was used for Doom and what was used for the original Wolfenstein 3D. Um, and this was necessary in order for the game to run as fast as it does on a Super Nintendo. Um, to put it in perspective, this version of the code looks, while the monster logic is very similar to the original uh, Wolfenstein for the, the PC, um, the rest of the code is almost new. Um, the problem, when the Super Nintendo was developed, the Super Nintendo version, um, only like 20 levels were done for the game uh, using a very crude um, just taking the original tiles, doing a BSP tree generator, and then spitting out the game levels. Um, the problem was that on the Mac, people were expecting the original levels. So when I got the um, maps, they all were straight out of the Super Nintendo version. So they were smaller, simplified, um, they ran really great, and this is the maps that were actually used as the basis for the Super Nintendo version. However, once I did the initial port, uh, taking all the code, getting it to run on 68K, then getting it to run on PowerPC, which was used for the Power Macintosh, which was brand new at the time. I mean, Apple was really going like, yay, we're going to do games on the Mac for this week, and then they're going to completely ignore, uh, ignore you next week. But for the week that they were actually going, being gung-ho, they were all saying, we want the game to run on Power Mac. If it doesn't run on Power Mac, we're not going to help you at all with advertising. But if you scratch our back and make the game run on Power Macintoshes, we'll do some advertising. So, for the game Power Mac, for a game 68K, did the first three levels of the game, and we decided to do it shareware just like the original PC version, and we called it Wolfenstein 3D, The First Encounter. And all it was was the first three levels, and after you completed the third level, the game would put up a dialogue box saying, yay, you win, please send us, you know, I think the price was like nineteen ninety five or something like that, and then we'd mail you the disc that would contain the rest of the levels, which is called Wolfenstein 3D, The Second Encounter. Um, the game did quite well, um, you know, we sold quite a few copies. Uh, but however, the game was such in demand because the fact the game ran so well on the Mac, with this particular version, that um, it was asked of me to make a third encounter, but this one specifically for retail. The problem, people wanted, the, everybody who sent letters and stuff like that to Interplay, was saying, these maps are great, but they are not the same as Wolfenstein 3D with these 60 levels there, and then you had um, Spear of Destiny and so forth, and it's like, you know, we want these levels. Well, the problem was that the game engine was fundamentally different, and I thought, hmm, maybe I should just make a map editor. So I did. I wrote a little map editor that allowed me to, um, taking a template, I would say, here's a template of a map, a, a map group that would have like, um, you know, 10 maps or 20 maps. And I would have Bill Stout, 
who was one of our playtesters at the time, actually take a printout of the maps from Wolfenstein 3D and just duplicate them and then add features and stuff like that and uh, things made specifically for the Wolfenstein 3D engine. Um, with that, we made all, of, like it was like 90 levels we put together um, and to make it what we call Wolfenstein 3 The Third Encounter, which included all new user interfaces. Um, it was all designed you know, because I didn't have memory restrictions, it, they, you know, we made giant maps. Um, and we even went ahead and made a whole set of original maps for the game. Uh, because the original Wolfenstein 3D, I think it was like uh, 60 maps or something like that. And uh, we need more maps because, you know, once we made the first maps, it's like the editor made it really, really simple to uh, make more maps. Well, recently... Um, I was going through my archives, and I found all the source code I had for Wolfenstein 3D, um, well, first, second, third encounters, but I also found the source code to the editor. Problem. The editor suffered from serious bit rot in the sense that it was written for macOS 7.5, uh, the version of macOS that was popular in 1994. Um, that's old. I mean, yeah, pretty old, but never fear. Thanks to the magic of Burgerlib, Burgerlib still maintains compatibility with old versions of macOS. It was done intentionally because it was to save my ass from projects like this, where I would take an old, old title, link it to Burgerlib, change all the functions to use Burglar while well, the game still runs and it, it works fine. But then once that happens, I can go link it to a modern version of the OS and it works. So let me show you. This right here is a screen capture or screen from a Mac OS Snow Leopard machine. Um, this is actually running on my um, server rack it's an x serve running snow leopard and specifically it's running snow leopard because that is the last version of mac os 10 that still was compatible with mac os carbon applications carbon being mac os 9 power pc apps that were written that it can run under mac os 7 8 9 and 10 whereas after snow leopard once they went to mac os lion uh, they removed the compatibility saying, well, the program better be written from the ground up for Mac OS X or you're boned. Well, to do the initial port, I took the source code I have right here of the uh, editor, which looks kind of like this, and ported it over from Code Warrior, I think it was Code Warrior Gold 4 was what I was using when I first wrote it. Um, got the code to compile as is on Code Warrior 10 for the Mac, which was the last version of Code Warrior released before Metroworks stopped making builds of Code Warrior on the Mac. Uh, they still make Code Warrior for the PC, but it's mostly for embedded software, um, PowerPC or ARM uh, embedded c CPUs. Um, but they have updated the Mac OS um, version of uh, Code Warrior in a long time, and Code Warrior requires um, is written in PowerPC, so therefore the old, the most modern Mac OS it can run under is Snow Leopard, which is again why I'm running Snow Leopard. What I did then is I took the code, got it to run under Mac. This is the original one. It was run run written under Mac OS uh, Classic under 68,000. So I got it to build here using Code Warrior 10. Then I ported it to Classic for PowerPC because the editor was never written to be running under PowerPC at the time. It was just, I didn't need to, it was an in-house project. And now I went ahead and ported to Carbon. Now it's been ported to Carbon, I quit this. And quit this, which is the actual program. Now that I've written in Carbon, here it is, Wolfenstein edit from Code Warrior 10 Carbon release PowerPC. Gonna run it, 
and you're gonna see it in all school right now. As you can see, it's not really, you know, Wolf, about Wolf Map Editor. There's the dialogue, the famous one saying, Map Editor for Wolf 3D, this editor is for the exclusive use of myself and Bill Stout, who, again, was my uh, uh, playtester and map editor. Otherwise, you're a pirate. But I'm gonna go here to open a file Wolf Resource, which is just uh, the first couple of levels. This is the first three maps of Wolfenstein 3D for the first encounter. So you can see with the editor, um, I could show you that it's got three maps. That's the name of the maps that's in there. This tells me that on map zero, when you beat the map, you go to map one. If you actually go through a warp, you can go to a different map. This is the part time. And of course, this is for floor and scenario for letting me know on when the game goes between levels, it can give a display saying, oh, you're on floor one of the castle, scenario one, which is in this case, you know, um, you know, escape from Wolfenstein. That these numbers are used to, for the user interface. But I just double click on the map and voila. There you go, scroll it. There is the actual map for Wolfenstein 3D, let me go here to the editor, toggle view, choose tile. Oh, it's right, the tile edit. That, this right here lets me choose what tile I want to edit with. This is the um, choose an item. This allows me to place an item on the map. And let's see, toggle with view. Right now, there's a bug in the carbon version in which it's not actually uh, refreshing the screen properly, which is why I'm opening up. But here, in this view, you can see now I've actually told it to show all the uh, items in the map. So like here, there's the chandelier, the, um, let me go back here. Yeah, here's the opening room. You see the, the, the enemy, there's a Nazi there. There's another Nazi. In this room, Nazi here, there's these different tiles. Um, you can see the unused tiles are all, um, you know, bricked out and so forth. Because basically is that the way we did the editing is that you just simply paint these tiles. And then what you do is that you fill in what is known as the area numbers. Um, looks like they're all showing zero, which I think is an error because they should be showing different numbers. But then again, this editor is like the very first pass of it. Um, I need to, um, you know, keep at debugging it and so forth. And then, of course, later on, I'm going to port this to Coco and, of course, port it back to Windows so that you'll be able to edit the maps for the uh, Macintosh version. Um, I intend on just releasing this uh, public uh, into um, uh, on the GitHub when I get this finally done. But I wanted to show the progress. Um, of what I was able to do, because I am kind of proud of what I've done. Let me go back here to move and center. I need to create an icon for this thing because of, uh, there it is. Absolutely, go here. And also, by the way, the way the editor was written is that you can actually have all the different levels up at the same time. Because I had maps that you can go from place to place or um, you go from a level. You can go up one level and go back down one level and so forth to make an actual like three-dimensional type mazes and so forth. That was one of the features the game was capable of doing, but it really wasn't used to its fullest. Um, yeah, see, this one's got uh, regions. Region 6, Region 3. I forgot what the regions were. I know it had something to do with sound. Um... So like this map, all the regions are zero. This map, they're all zero. But this one actually looks like it has the um, all the proper um, region numbers. And it's a two-digit number in each room. But anyways, um, this is uh, the maps to Wolfenstein 3D for Mac. Um, and a preview of what the editor looks like. This is the very first pass. I've actually got it running fully under Carbon. Um, with files opening and closing and editing and so forth, it actually, you know, while it has some visual errors, it is a fully functioning uh, map editor. But anyways, um, that's all I really wanted to tell everybody on uh, um, uh, Twitchland. Hi there, um, Dingo 
Dingo Yabuki saying notification squad. Um, hi. Dunk. <laughs> um, do you have any questions for me, Dingo, before I go ahead and uh, log off? My whole thing here was just to show off the uh, work in progress of the Wolfenstein 3D map editor. So go here, go to Wolf Resource, choose, and open up a map. Now, granted, of course, it's still a work in progress. I mean, it's... I'm not going to say this is done. Um, this is literally a first pass. But it is something that I will eventually release, and I'll have it out for um, modern uh, Macintoshes. That means it'll be working under uh, Mac OS Catalina, Mac OS Mojave, etc. And also, um, we'll be doing um, a Windows version. Uh, which will be probably working under Windows XP because my libraries go all the way back there, but it will be Windows 10 um, aware. Um, Dingo says, yo, the call out. Thank you. This is really cool. And I love your vid explaining your involvement in Doom for the 3DO. Yeah, Doom for 3DO. PTSD. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to be signing off. But I just wanted to go ahead and say this little itty bitty micro episode of Burger Time. I plan on doing these more often. And um, I will be getting back into the swing of things. Anyways, thank you uh, again, everybody out there in Twitch TV and YouTube land.